Hello and welcome back. I'm glad you could join me again today for another daily drawing. Just as before, we're going to stop everything else, put aside everything that's going on today and focus only on making a drawing and drawing together. So today we're going to have a go at drawing a really simple leaf shape and focusing instead on a space around the leaf. So all you're going to need today is some paper and a pencil, but actually a pen would work fine and if you want to use some colour in today's drawing, you go ahead and do whatever you fancy. So don't forget our two rules. So first of all, process over outcome. So it's really important today that you don't think about trying to draw a leaf or whether it looks like a leaf or how it's going to turn out at the end and just focus on the simple process of drawing shapes. And second of all, draw with me and not like me. So listen to my advice and follow along but you work at your own pace and you draw what you see. So go and grab those materials, a beverage of choice and I'll see you in a moment. We're going to start today by just drawing some simple shapes as a warm-up and thinking about spaces around the shapes. So grab yourself a pencil or a pen, whatever you have to hand, and start drawing just a simple square or a slight rectangle. It's really up to you, it doesn't matter. And then within that, take a shape like a triangle. I've made mine a little bit curved. And think about that shape there as it fits into the corner. I'm just outlining that a bit more. And then I'm going to draw the same shape, but as a mirror, but only roughly. So two triangular shapes with a slight curve to them. And then I'm just going to draw a totally random shape in the top corner. So you just draw any kind of random shape you want. And then you can just line, outline it a little more so you can really see the shape that you've drawn. And then one more shape into the corner on the left. And actually my shape's looking a little like a heart. Yours may look completely different. So then shade in just with lines, with hatching if you've got a pen or um, pencil, you can sort of fill it in and shade it. Fill in those shapes that you've drawn in each of the corners and as you can see mine slightly overlap and then that draws your attention to the shape that's left and as I said mine looks a little like a heart what's yours look like let's have a go at another one this time we're going to do totally random so you draw the shapes that you want to draw I'm going to draw some completely random shapes just wherever my pencil takes me so I've got a square to start with and then I'm going to start in this corner, just drawing a random line. And then I'm just going to look at that shape and outline it a bit more strongly. Another random shape. Okay, looks a bit like a number one, not intentionally. Just took my lines wherever they were going to go. So you draw another random shape anywhere that you like within your square. And then just outline it. So I've got a sort of splatting shape and then I've got something a bit more angular and then one more shape in the other corner. Okay. You just go at your pace, outline your shape and then you can start to hatch or shade and just fill in those different shapes that you've drawn. And by doing this, you start to get the attention drawn to the shape in the middle, the negative space. So mine looks like a sort of ghost with wings kicking out maybe. Depends how good your imagination is really. So I've stopped looking at the shapes I've drawn and I'm looking at the space around them. And that's called the negative space. And it's a really useful little thing to use when you're drawing. So finish up yours and then have a little look at the space that's remaining after you've drawn your shapes. So we're going to use this technique now to have a go at drawing the reference image here. So you can start by just drawing yourself a frame. But because we're going to draw the shapes, not the leaf, you might not want to worry too much about finishing it or drawing it in any sort of definite way. So I'm going to draw the space around the leaf. So at all points today, 
You want to focus on the white space rather than anything else. And this will help you to see the shapes. So you can blur your eyes a little if it helps. And just look at the white spaces. So this one is a sort of long, thin, oval type shape. And I'm not going to use a rubber today. I'm just going to draw the shapes as I see them, keeping on looking at the white space. And this space here is really quite large in this corner, so take your time. And don't worry about it being perfect. Remember, we're not actually trying to draw a leaf today, we're trying to draw the space. And whatever the leaf looks like at the end is how it will look at the end. So cast your eye over at the image every few seconds while you're drawing. And just keep looking at the white spaces. And if you find yourself thinking about shape of the leaf rather than the white space just take a little step back from the image just blur your eyes slightly and focus as best you can on the space so i'm just looking at that white space and how close it is to the edge there just look in here at how the different shapes relate to each other how this white space relates to the white space above it and just slowly drawing that shape in and as you go you can sort of fill in the frame a little bit more definitely and you can go to any spot so if you find there's something a bit challenging move to another corner draw a different part So sometimes I try to think about what these shapes look like, so this is almost like a, a teardrop shape and I'm just looking at the, the white above it and just seeing how those two shapes relate to each other. And then I'm drawing this sort of splash of teardrop shape. But you just draw yours and you go at your own pace. So if you feel like you're making a mistake, you can just adjust it like this. Don't worry about rubbing things out and making things perfect. Just find the line that you like. And just like in the warm up exercises, eventually we will shade in the spaces or the shapes we've drawn. So you can also do that a little bit to help you to see so my shape here is actually a little bit exaggerated, but I'm not worried. My leaf will look different to the one in the image and that's fine. shape's actually quite peculiar. 
but quite interesting. Let's take my time to see how that fits into this side of the frame. So it's quite easy at times to start looking at the the green shape instead of the white one. So just take your eyes away from that anytime you feel. Take a little step back and refocus on the white areas. So I'm getting into some of the little trickier, little smaller shapes now. And then I'm just looking around at the other things I've drawn to see how they sort of fit together. Looking at the spaces between them, kind of blurring my eyes a little. And I'm not even too worried if my frame doesn't fit that well. Because I'm not aiming for an exact copy of the image. I'm just thinking about shifting my mind, focusing on the spaces and drawing them in. So once you've drawn the shapes or the spaces, whichever you like, way you'd like to refer to them, then you can start to fill them in with a colour or some lines of hatching if you're using a pen or because I'm using a pencil, I'm just using the side of the lead to just block them in. So as I'm putting some tone, or if you're putting colour in um, to the shapes, you could also adjust them a little bit so you can steep, keep looking at the image and maybe moving the shape around, making it a little bigger, a little more pointy, adjusting the curve a little if you want to.
so if you finish yours then just skip on ahead to the end of the video work at your own pace you can obviously glance up at mine every now and again but remember you don't want to draw like mine you draw your own Once you've finished, it's good to take a little step back and just see if you missed any little spaces. And although I say that I don't normally erase, because I used a pencil, I put quite a lot of uh, smudges from the side of my hand, which I'm just going to rub out, which is just going to clean up and clear up the space so it's nice and white. But you could, if you wanted to, take a colour and fill in the now white shape with a colour, with a watercolour paint. If you were careful about how you mix, if you've used a pen, you could create some really interesting effects with a little bit of paint or water, or leave it exactly as it is just now. So I'm just tidying up around the edge so that we've got a really nice contrast of the positive and negative spaces. So I really hope you enjoyed that drawing today and you were able to put aside all of your other thoughts and focus just on making a drawing for 20 minutes. So I'd really love to see all of your fabulous leaf shapes. So as always, you can share them with me on Instagram at the City Workshop, all the info's below. And I really hope you can join me again tomorrow for another drawing. And so I'll see you then.